Hi, I just wanted to share an intermediate um, Pilates exercise with you today. This is called swimming in the prone position. So you're lying on your front with the arms out in front of you, just move those out of the way, and the legs out behind you. They're about hip bone distance with the feet just resting on the floor, but reach along with your feet, along with your front of your legs. Reach the arms out in front of you. Now the, drop the chin in slightly so the back of the neck stays long. Lift the head, now lift one arm, and then lift the other arm. Lift one leg, lift the other leg. Lovely. So lift one arm higher and the opposite leg higher, so you're working on a diagonal. Slowly come back down without touching the floor, change sides. Slowly come back down, changing sides. You're working on a diagonal. So if your right arm lifts, the left, left, left leg lifts. Oh, that's a mouthful. And if the left arm lifts, the right leg lifts. Now if you're squeezing your glutes, which is great, you're really focusing on the glutes doing the work of lifting the leg, rather than your back. So from here, nothing changes. So you're not arching the back. So allow your squeeze, how to squeeze the glutes and let your hips just press into the floor. Pelvic bone touches the mat. Okay, so if you feel it in your back, it's your body's way of telling you, you're doing something quite right there with your positioning. Okay, so if you want to make it a little bit harder, we just make it a little bit faster. Trying not to move the body, just the arms and the legs that are moving. That will make it a little bit trickier for you, which is great. We all do a little bit of a challenge every now and then. And then slowly release, coming up into child's pose to release the lower back. And there you go, that's swimming in the prone position. Great for your shoulders and great for your glutes and hamstrings. Abdominal work as well to keep the control as you move. Have fun practicing.